Welcome back. Deanna Franklin joins us from the Vigo County Purdue Extension Office to talk about credit cards. <laughs> I use mine a little too much lately. Yes, yes, everybody is. Well, as you know, in May, our president signed in uh, to law the Credit Card Act of 2009. Some of the changes that, that were proposed in the bill have already taken place. They took place in August of this year. But beginning at the in February, mm -hmm. a lot of the other changes are going to be taking place. So Purdue has uh, created a publication that kind of gives you a summary mm -hmm. of all the changes on the credit cards, and it's on our website, which we will give to you. Uh, but basically, it's there, these things are meant to protect the consumer. For example, typically a credit card company will bill you like every so many days. Well, now in law, they have to do it every 21 days and not any sooner than that. Oh, okay. Um, how they figure your interest and the financial charges on your credit card, if you carry a balance, that changes so that you're only getting charged for that month's, you know, the balance you had on that month. Sure. They're not kind of double billing you. Uh -huh. um, they just put a lot of things into place to protect consumers so that consu the credit card companies were not making money off of those people who use credit cards. Got it. Of course, you always want to be careful with your credit cards, and you probably, if you have credit cards and are using them, have been getting a lot of notices from the credit card companies because they're trying to kind of get a jump on all these changes that will be going into effect. But now's a good time to kind of evaluate how many credit cards do I need? You know, um, am I using them effectively? If I don't need it, why don't I just get rid of it? of it. Um, so, you know, get one with a good interest rate, obviously, one that doesn't charge you an annual fee, those sorts of things. So this publication is available online, and if you have questions, you can call the Extension Office, and we'll try to help you kind of muddle through it. But What's the website? It's uh, CES. Dot Purdue, dot edu, okay. and then a slash Vigo, for, and you'll take takes you right to the Vigo County page on the Purdue website. And we've got it up there on your screen, and we'll of course have it at wthitv.com and in our newsroom as well. It's always great to see you, Deanna. Thank you. Happy holidays. Thanks to you too. We'll